What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 22nd tutorial in Java game development. In our last tutorial in this little mini series I have about reducing screen flickering. And our very last method we have to build in the Bucky class. And the last method for this little tutorial is the draw method. And in case you couldn't tell, this draw method that is underlined is telling us to create a draw method. So we will. And all this method does is draws graphics it's pretty much just going to draw your background and whatever image on your screen so let's go ahead and pick public void got name it draw of course and it's going to take our graphics object g as it always does and the first thing it's going to do is draw our background so with our graphics object draw image and oh, i knew it was going to do that you little and for the parameters what do you want to draw the background where do you want to put it? Let's just put it as 0, 0. And for the image observer, just put null. So now, after this, we drew the background. We just run draw the face now. But instead of just putting face 1 or face 2 as the image, put a dot get image. And what this does is it gets the image appropriate for that time. So depending on where you are in your animation, it either gets the image with its eyes open or its eyes closed and it draws that image on the screen so now that we are finally done we can finally run this and let me see if I have any errors and I know your guys screen is black but my screen is showing a guy blinking his eyes on and off and it has no flickering or anything like that it is running perfectly so you guys should do that I highly recommend it and when you see it's so much better than the other animation no flicker at all and now we finally are able to animate without flickering a uh, perfect buffered class and that's how you do that so let me uh, do a real quick one two walk you guys through what this method does one last time in our main method we pretty much created an object to use um, methods from this class and we called it the run method to start out so when we call the run method it goes all the way down here to run and it creates a screen object so you can use methods from your screen manager class it finds the perfect display mode it sets it your screen to full screen depending on what that perfect display mode is it loads all your images which when we call this method it comes up here loads all of the images necessary and also creates a little animation with two scenes in it face one and face two and when this is done it comes back down here to movie loop and when you call movie loop it comes down here and plays your entire movie for six seconds and what when you're playing your movie you're pretty much um getting your graphic object drawing it to the screen getting rid of your object and updating your screen and then it sleeps for 20 milliseconds each time and then once this is done playing for six seconds it finally restores your screen and gets rid of gets pretty much restores it back to normal size and then pretty much get rid of, gets rid gets rid of it altogether and that my friend is your entire program that we just built in a nutshell so that in essence is how we build the perfect animation to get rid of flickering i know it was a lot of work but trust me the people who play your game will thank you that there isn't any flickering at all and really java did all the real work for us sun microsystems so thank you guys for doing all the work for us, and thank you for letting us build this awesome game. And thank you, subscribers, for watching my videos. And in the next tutorials, we're going to be learning how to take an object, or excuse me, like a picture or something, and have it move around on the screen. And what these are called is sprites. And what sprite is pretty much a single animation that moves around on your screen. And it is really awesome. I cannot wait to get into it. It's going to be amazing, but for now, that's for next tutorial. For now, I just want to thank you guys for watching one last time. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for learning, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.